Looking to incorporate a little bit of autumn into your drink, Miss Sunland? Oh, Demetrius Zaharaitis, also known as the cocktail chemist, is here with some great recipes to get you in the mood. You know, people are tailgating, they're having parties for football. Of course. So yeah. these are wonderful things that they can do to kind of step it up a notch. Yes, they're super easy. Uh, they're very fall orientated with some fall flavors reverse, and we're featuring apple cider in all three of these Love cocktails. Every cider. Drink has your cider. We have an abundance of great farms in Connecticut that produce great oh, uh, great ciders. So Love this time yeah. We're yeah. using Norton Brothers out of Cheshire today, so okay. we're gonna use in all of them. But I mean, you know, there's they're, they're everywhere. Everywhere so. you go, yeah. absolutely. Okay. So with that being said, we're gonna start with a really obvious one. We're gonna do cinnamon and apple cider. So we're gonna do a little bit of um, Litchfield Distillery uh, cinnamon whiskey. This is just uh, the, lit, the straight bourbon with a cinnamon stick in the bottle, if you can see that. Oh yeah, I can cool, see right? that. Okay, and cool. that's how they get the flavoring out of there. So we're gonna do about an ounce and a half of the bourbon. Um, and it's cinnamon bourbon. Cinnamon bourbon, yes. Okay. We're right. gonna do just a little quarter ounce of fresh squeezed uh, lemon juice. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do a couple of dashes of our Angostura bitters. And we're gonna do about, about two, two ounces of the um, Cider, actually, that's And the great thing is half. if you buy a bunch of cider, you're going to the local, you're going apple picking or whatever, but you've got the cider for the kids, yeah. and then you can use you it for it the cocktails yourself. for the adults. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you just don't give this to the kids? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's how they go to bed, no? He's no. kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, so you know, just strain it over ice. You, could, you don't even have to sh shake this if you don't want to. Uh, you could just build it in the glass and it's good to go. A little fresh cinnamon stick on top, and that's... Little you, that's cute. You can little... buy the cinnamon sticks, and they'll be like little stirs. Nice exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Definitely a fall drink. I'm not a big whiskey mm -hmm. fan, but it's definitely a fall drink. Good. good. Tastes yeah. really good. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna progress. We're gonna do you know uh, all summer long. We're drinking spritzes. I made a couple of aperol spritzes for you. Yes. Uh, so we're gonna uh, fallify it a little bit, if you would. Because everything and, uh, should sparkle. There's exa nothing exactly. Wrong with sparkles. Who doesn't like bubbles? Scott. This one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so, like bubbles. I don't so know we're gonna we're gonna our star is gonna be uh, this is a Greek liqueur. It's called uh, Rakomelo. So it's a grappa. It's a honey grappa with some baking spices. So you got cinnamon, clove, allspice, and stuff like that. Interesting. In there. Natural honey of orange yeah. flower, cinnamon, clove buds, and other natural ingredients. This stuff ingredients. is delicious. Usually huh. they drink this warm in Greece over this, uh, just warm winter it up time. Up yeah, you can just warm this up by itself and you're good to go. Wow. So we're gonna do an ounce and a half of the Rakomelo. We're gonna give it just a little spice rum for another layer of flavor, just a half an ounce. So that would be good to put in if you're making hot cider? Yes, definitely, okay. definitely. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of cider. I'm gonna do about, you know, about an ounce and a half of our cider, if I don't spill it all over myself. It's all right, okay. you're good. And as long as then it's we're gonna alcohol. do some club soda. We got our Pellegrino here, and a little bit of Prosecco on top. Oh, Prosecco, you got a lot of bubbles going. Yeah, lots of bubbles, we like bubbles. And then we're gonna do just some cut up apples. Granny oh, Smith. Apples. Yeah. Do oh, just a bit. Yeah, you're trying this one because you like the bubbles. Okay. Give it a little while. <laughs> Good luck, Kara. <laughs> See you on the other side. I'm just taking one sip. One little sip. It's good. It doesn't taste like anything, so it, that's, <laughs> it's like, be careful, because so it just tastes the like a of your own cider flavored seltzer water. Good. Or Perfect. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's now we're gonna good. make a, we're gonna make a little variation of a mule. That's not bad. See, you, you like, like sparkles balls. to match your we'll personality. Yeah, no, See? Okay. <laughs> All right, go ahead. We're gonna do a um, apple cider uh, mule. So okay. we're doing some uh, apple vodka from Litchfield. Do oh. about an ounce and a half of the vodka. So the go. Litchfield Distillery, great because it's local, but they also Correct. infuse all their alcohols with different flavors. And they do it. They use all, um, you know, the local, the apples are locally made, okay. uh, locally uh, picked. So we do about a quarter ounce of lime. fresh squeezed lime juice. And then the ginger beer makes it a mule? Yes, yep, it will. Then we're going to do another ounce and a half of the apple cider. And then we'll just top it off. So this ginger and you know apple just go great together. Here we'll put a couple more ice cubes. And then a little uh, little stir will do you. A little stir, we could just, I like to garnish and leave it on the side. If somebody wants a little more tart, they could uh, they could have that a little, you know, they squeeze the lime in there. You want to tart it up one? a little bit. Two for you, one for me, you're bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Again, very different taste. Right, Give it a shot. Side. Okay. I can taste the ginger. Yeah, the, the ginger. The is ginger definitely is pronounced. In definitely this. pronounced. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. I mean, if people like mules, they're gonna like that. But that's Correct. very refreshing. Yes. I like the lime with the ginger. Yeah. It's interesting. It goes. It goes it's, it's part of the classic um, 
uh, recipe. So it's you know it's usually vodka, ginger beer, and some fresh squeezed lime juice. Oh, yep. All right. Well, there thank you, go. you so much, Demetrius. It's your better Connecticut mule. There you All go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to check out Demetrius on Facebook for more fun cocktail ideas. You can search up cocktail chemist, and I know you post a lot of recipes there. We too. do, and all these recipes will be posted uh, for oh, everyone great. today. So to you can follow along at home. We recreate at home. Yeah. You still at. Uh, uh, Cheshire restaurant? Yes, Byron Rondo. Byron Rondo. What Actually, nights? this this is one of the cocktails on the menu at Byron Rondo. Oh, cool. For wow. the, our, uh, I'm there Monday and Thursdays, right? Monday, we 